All right, today I'm going to show you how to use a DualShock 4 for your PC through Bluetooth. These things are Bluetooth compatible. So first things first, we will have to visit this website. The link will be in the description. And you scroll down, you go to Attached Files, and download whatever the latest one is. For me, it's 1.1 beta.zip. So download that, download it to wherever you want, and then once, whenever you do that, you uh, extract it because it's an RAR or a zip. So after you extract it, you go into the folder. So it's DS4 tool 1.1 beta 3 for me. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to virtual bus driver and we're going to run that first. So let's run that and hit install and then install succeeded. So that's the driver is taken care of. So now we're going to go to SCP server. Now this will be the interface that you'll use to customize your controller, enable touchpad, and basically turns your direct input controller into an X input controller, which is uh, which will help with compatibility issues for some games because X input is basically the Xbox 360 gamepad. So right now it says that there's no controllers found. So first we're gonna have to pair this controller to your PC. And you can either do that by plugging in a USB cable from here to your computer or you can use Bluetooth if your computer has Bluetooth. So if you want to try that, if we're going to do Bluetooth, we first have to pair it. So we're going to go to devices and printers and there's my Bluetooth adapter. You might see yours here. And I'm just going to go to hardware and sound and then go to add a Bluetooth device. Now, you won't see your controller here because we haven't set this thing up to, to a pair. So if we want to do that, we're going to hold share and the PlayStation button. And we're going to wait until it starts strobing. There we go. And there it is, game controller. I'm not entirely sure what the CSR thing is, but game controller. We're going to hit next. And now it's going to ask you to enter a pairing code. Now, there's no way to get around it. You can't pair without using a code. So we're going to enter in devices pairing code and it will be 0000. zero, zero, zero. Hit next. And it should and it should work. Doesn't doesn't happen doesn't work every time, but uh just keep trying it until it actually pairs. So now that we have that done, we can go to devices and printers just to check. And there it is, wireless controller. We can go to Game controller settings, and for some reason it's not letting us go to properties. HID compliant oh. game controller. This is new. Oh, and now it's gone. So we're going to, have to do it again. So let's go to hardware and sound. Let's see, see, it's not even turned on right now. So we're going to go to add a Bluetooth device. We're going to turn this on. All right. Wireless controller. Next. Enter into the pairing code. Zero, 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 zero. Enter. And now it is paired. Close. Now let's see if that actually worked now. Let's go to devices and printers. Wireless controller, game controller settings, and the status is okay. Let me go to properties, and you can actually see the input. So now that we have that working, we need to connect it to our X input mapper. So put the controller down, and hit stop, and then clear, just so we can get a nice clear screen. And I'm going to hit start. Now it says, could not open the controller one for exclusive access. Try to quit any applications that can be using the controller. In my case, the application is Mumble. I think TeamSpeak can also do this as well, so let's go to quit. And clear. And stop. And start again. And it worked. Uh, Steam doesn't seem to cause any issues when I have it running, so there's that. Now it says Xbox 360 controller for Windows. This is the fake virtual controller that this program just created. 
And now with this, you can play just about any game that supports the Xbox, Xbox 360 controller, or any controller for that matter. I've tried this on Borderlands, I've tried this on uh, Magic, I've tried this on Alice, and they all work just fine. Now some cool things with this program is you can go to hotkeys and you can change, you can turn on the touchpad by doing R2, L2, and pressing the button. And now I can use this to scroll around and hit OK. It's kind of awkward, but you can change the sensitivity of it by going over to options. I guess I can't click on that. Go figure. Anyway, let's go to options. Everyone actually let me go. Oh, because I have to click the radio button first. And then go to options. And then you can change the color. I like to keep my values low because this thing can get pretty bright. So I have it set to orange right now. You can mess around with like enable touchpad at start. You can change the sensitivity of the touchpad. And then you hit save. You're good to go. Now if you want to turn this thing off, you have to hold the power button, or the PS button, for quite some time. Or Steam will actually launch, that's kind of strange. And there we go, turned off. Take care of this. Big picture. <laughs> go away. Alright. Steam is being weird. Anyway, so yeah, now the controller's turned off. If you don't do that, then it won't turn off automatically and you'll come back to a dead controller. That is not fun. So now you want to pair it back to your PlayStation. What you're going to want to do is go over here. Actually, let's just hit stop on this. It'll let me. Anyway, and then we're going to go to wireless controller and remove device. So you remove the device, and then this thing won't be synced to anything anymore. And in order to fix that, you just turn on your PlayStation 4, plug this in, press the middle button when it asks, and it's back to being synced to your PlayStation. And yeah, that's, that's about it. So hopefully that helps.